This is a cushion that I've refurbished with a used pillow. So come take a look at what you can do with your discarded pillows also. These are pillows that we have that are well worn but the stuffing is still functional so I'm going to recycle these. The cushions for our chairs are needing some stuffing as it has flattened out. As you can see here I've cut the pillow shape a little bit larger than the cushion because I'm going to try to wrap it around. This mustard yellow fabric in the background is what I'm going to cover the pillow forms with. I'm tacking stitches here in that way the stuffing will not shift. So as you can see here I'm just sewing back and forth with very large stitches just so this does not move. I finished adding the stuffing of the pillow here. It is a bonded polyester fiber so it is in one piece. So in this case it was just made to cover the cushions that needed more stuffing in. So here is the finished form of that and you can see the loose stitches here in the side. This is just to keep the bonded pillow fabric from shifting. Using the shape of the pillow in itself, I'm just going to cut directly into the fabric. I'm just following the shape of that pillow loosely. Here's the piece that I cut from the uh, fabric that I was going to use. So I'm going to try to make both sides of this even. So I'm going to fold it. In that way I will have the same size on both parts of the piece that I'm working on. So I'm going to trim this one. As you can see here, the larger part is the one that I'm going to trim. So I'm taking this out. In that way I'll be fully be uniformed. And I'm also going to trim this one over here. And when I open this, both sides will be identical. I'm cutting a second piece of this one. As you can see here, I'm laying the pieces right sides together so that when I sew this one it can be inverted from inside out. So I'm cutting another piece and I'm following the grain line here. It's lengthwise and this one has lengthwise grain as well. So I'm going to go ahead and cut another piece. So there will be a top and a bottom of the pieces. So I'm cutting this right now. These will be identical pieces. Now I've ironed these fabrics already, but it's very difficult to take the wrinkles out. That's okay because I'm going to iron this one again. I pinned the two pieces together. As you can see here, I've got pins in these positions and this is to keep the two pieces from shifting and right here is unpinned because this one will remain open. I'm going to sew right around here and with an opening over here. This is so that 
it can be turned inside out and I will be able to slide the pillow in. So what I'm going to do later on is to finish this with an overlock stitch and I will use my overlock machine in this one. I normally will use two machines. One will be for straight stitching, which would be used around, and then the overlock for the edgings. But right here, where the openings are, I'm going to overlock separately, and then I am going to whip stitch it to close. Now I'm moving to my overlock machine. This is a four thread overlock machine and this will secure all the rough edges in this way it will not unravel.
Okay, so we turn this inside out. And we just work our fingers around so that we can turn this one inside out. Again, just smooth out the seams here. It doesn't have to be really creased up because the pillow is going to be slid in it. So here's the pillow that we put together and we are going to slide this one inside. So this will go inside. Right here is the opening and this one will be pinned together and then whip stitch down and that way this one will close. Okay. I'm going to whip stitch this one right now. Okay, so I'm going here. It doesn't have to be small stitches. Just make sure that you catch both sides so it's secure. I'm going to start at the center and then later, later on backtrack to the other side. So I'm going this way and I'm just going to whip stitch it. Whip stitching is going over and under. Going this way. Okay, again, you go under you take it up and you go under again and take it up. You'll need to take your pins out as you go along because it's just going to get in the way. If you have very tender type of fingers or your fingers are sensitive you might consider using a thimble for this task. So you go back in here again and just take your time closing this. Okay, and then you're going to continue on. Okay, make sure you get the fabrics all together. And that way you won't have a hole, but if you do skip and your stitches are too wide, you can always go over it again. So I will take this to the end, and then when I'm done with this to the end, I'll start in here and then go up to there. So again, just whip stitching where you go under, and then you push up and catch your thread. And that's what you do until you get it all done. Here's the finished pillow. As you can see here, everything is now closed. I'm going to put this pillow now into the pillowcase in itself. So actually the cover of that. So I'm going to slide this one in. See this uh, cover on this, it's got the overlap over here. I'm going to slide it inside and then work it out. It's kind of fat this time, so I am going to see if I can fit this in. squeeze this for them. So that it will fit. Okay. Because I'm going to have to kind of push this inside. Squeeze. 
push this in. It should go inside. It's kind of fatter this time because it's got plumper fill. Yeah, he went in. Just push that in. And here's your cushion. It's now fluffy. It's not flat anymore. So here we go, finished.